again everyone and welcome you are here again with mr t farming simple and please remember if you're stopping by my channel for the first time please remember to smash that like button subscribe to my channel and give this vid video a thumbs up all right today i'll be showing you how to set up a drip irrigation system for your um for your crop all right and uh, I'm, i'll be showing you the most um inexpensive the most affordable way here in jamaica all right how you can get your a nice plot of land being dripped out for your crops all right but first we need to get a drill all right whether you have a battery drill or you have an electrical drill you need to get a drill and secondly you would need um a bit that is um known as a uh, alga bore bit all right looks like this all right so i'll be placing like this in my drill tighten up all right and then depending on the size of your land all right you can use um depending depending on the width of your land all right you will need um a couple of this and this is um inch and a half pvc pipe all right so now we have so i'll be using for my project i'll be using four lengths of inch and a half pvc pipe all right for a section of my project all right so what i did now because the land has been plowed so what i did i i spaced them out so i'll be showing you how to space it out further all right so i spaced them out on the rows on top of the rows and what i did i used a marker and i went ahead and marked these and marked the holes so when i pierce holes um the holes in these because trust me if you would, would go the route of um if you should go the route of purchasing all the different equipments to set up a drip system it will be very much expensive here in jamaica because in jamaican dollars to drip our arm um, to to set up the drip system for uh, actual and maybe an acre um, one acre plan that can cost you over a hundred thousand dollars all right over a hundred and that's a lot of money here so in order to avoid all of that you can just go the cheap away all right so you get the alga board and it's simple like this after you've completed the um the marking out you just hold it like this you place it here at the whole at the point where you have um marked it and take Like that. right simple okay guys now i'll be showing you how i what i use to seal my inch and a half pvc pipe this is going to be the um the actual horizontal line pipeline that i'll be using to um for my drip irrigation system so as you can see this is a inch and a half pvc pipe which is um relatively affordable it is affordable all right so we're going remember now we're going the cheaper way all right so now i went to the um the jamaica drip that's you can find that um well, the one I know of, you can find it in Kendall. That's Kendall, um, Manchester. That's, um, when you go in, you, uh, for instance, you come in from Mandeville, and there is an, uh, there is a, a mud lake that is known as the Christiana Mud Lake. You take that left turn, if that's the first left turn, and you take it like you're heading towards, um, Christiana, and there you go, you will see the sign right after you reach the first overhead bridge 
Right, second rather, there's a second overhead bridge and you will find the Jamaica trip or uh, Isratec. Alright? So you can go there and get all these fittings. Alright, drip irrigation system and fittings for your drip irrigation. So this is known as um a, a connector. Alright. I'll show you closely. Um I'll, I'll let you have a closer look at, at um what it looks like so this is a connector all right so i'll be using this connector now along with a seal and this is this is the seal this is the seal all right so i'll be using this now and i'll be placing the seal i'll be placing the seal into the pipe So I'll be placing the seal into the into this um pipe. Alright. So you might need something to tap it down a bit. So it's it's done like this. Remember we ha we ha um we, we place some holes into into it using the alga board and your drill. So because you don't want it to leak, it has to be a bit tight. Alright, so you can use something to tap it down. Alright, that's it. Tapping down the seal. Good. And there it is. So it's like this. So the seal is there. And what we and what we're going to do now, we'll be using some lubricant. Lubricant. You can use any form of anything that is slippery. Um, or something that we can use to reduce the actual friction. Alright? Because this is what we'll be doing. We'll be using the connector. And we'll be placing the connector inside the seal. Alright? But sometimes if you use the lubricant it um helps more it, it um allows it to go to slide in easily all right and remember guys oil is here so here we have some oil oil is used to reduce friction all right so just tap a little and place it on the surface of the um the the, the, the seal Placing that on the safe surface of the seal, and I just tap this like this, place it like this, and all right. As I said before, you can use something to tap it down. So don't pay attention to this um, 2 by 4 but you can use anything you have available for, um, to use. You can get it and you place it on a flat surface. Just hold it like this. And you can just stop it. This is it. So here it is, guys. As you can see, so you leave the part with the um three rings or threads on it, and this is where the actual um drip tape will be connecting on. So I'll show you that further. So this is how we do it. Now, this is how it is done.
okay so now we have our main water line and on the perimeter our main water line on the perimeter and it has already been um, bored and set up with the gasket and the and the connectors now i'll be showing you how i simply connect my drip tape to the connectors all right so you just hold it like this you simply connect i want to bring him all the way down to prevent the form of leaking all right yes and this is how i set up the filtration system for the um the drip irrigation all right so there is a actual three quarter fil um, filter on the line helps to um filter any form of residue um entering the drip line to block it up so this is what it looks like all right so this is what it looks like and here here we have the the outlet for the um for, for the charging of the water all right and from here the water has been filtered here and it has a stop there and it comes into the lines